Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salam alaikum here. And today with another example on the max tree. Let's say today we implement the uh, 8 cross 1 max using 2 cross 1, okay? So we implement 8 cross 1 using a 2 cross 1 max. All right. Now you know the method. You know the method from the previous video. If you don't, you watch that previous video first. So we, we need to have we need to know about the required inputs and the available inputs, and then we do what we divide. So required uh, are divided by the available inputs. All right. Okay. And to get a what you know that also. So now well, here we have the uh, required or eight. And the available are 2. So 8 divided by 2 is a 4. Now uh, 4 is again divided by 2. So you have a 4 divided by 2, which is a 2. Now again, 2 is divided by 2 to get a 1. So now this says what? That we need a total of 4 plus 2 plus 1 is a 7. So you need total of 7 gates. Sorry, total of 7 2 cross 1 multiplexers to implement a single 8 cross 1 multiplexer. And when, what order do you implement it in? So this also shows you. So you have 4, 2, 1. Now why did I write it over there? Because I will remove this because I will be needing some space. So let's say I draw the truth table for, for this first. Okay, S2, S1, S0 and Y. So, and you know how to fill this for yourselves, okay? Till 8 you're going. So, uh, 0, 1, 2, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And then you have a group of 2s. And finally you have a group of 4s. And, and this is uh, I0, I1, I2, I3, I4, I5, I6, and I7. Is that fine? Okay. So, so, so we draw it directly, okay? So, so I remove this part of it and... Okay, so now what? Uh, 2 cross 1. So first the order is 4, okay? So you need to have a... Uh, or this is bigger. We need... This is 2 cross 1, so don't require that much of a space. All right. So these are your four 2 cross 1 multiplexers uh, that are the first in order, okay? And then we have one, when we have two, so which means the output of these two is given to this one, 2 cross 1, and the output of these two is given to this one, 2 cross 1. And finally you have one, which means that the output of these two is given to this 2 cross 1 and the the final output the final output comes over here why all right this is like this let's say stepwise i go so this would be like this and like this okay similarly here and here and then here okay now about the select lines you know each of them will have a single select line, okay? But we need three select lines, S2, S1, and S0. Which one of these are which select lines? Which one of them is S2? Which one of them is S1? Which one of them is S0? We don't know. So for that, like the previous video, we used the inspection method. I didn't write the inputs. Okay, so we have two inputs in each of this case. Starting from I0, I1, I2, I3, I4, I5, I6, and I7. Alright, now we inspect, okay? So let's say, let's say I need to have an I1 at the output. I have three colors, so I would do what? I would take three examples, okay? So the first is, let's say, I1. All right. 
So I1 uh, is over here. Now to transmit this I1, I need to give this multiplexer a 1. You know this. And if you're giving this a 1, you have to give a 1 to all of all the other multiplexers in this column. So you give this a 1, you give this a 1, and you give this a 1. Now from this one, I have an I1 at the output. From this one, I have I3. From here, I have I5. From here, I have I7. Now, now I need, uh, out of these two I need over here, I need the I1, so I need to give a 0 over here. And to give a 0 over here, I also have to give a 0 at this multiplexer, which means I have an I5 over here, and I have an I1 from this. Now I need I1, so this would be 0, and finally I will have I1 over here. Now have a look. Uh, for this I1, S0 is 1, okay? So which means this particular is S0, S, S okay? This particular is S0. All right. Okay. Now let's say another example. You need to have, let's say I need I3. Let's say I need I3, okay? So for I3, I3 is over here. So to get an I3, I need to have a 1 to this multiplexer. And to give a 1, you have to give 1 to all of the others in this particular call. Now, uh, so again, we'll have the same. We'll have I3, we'll have I1, we'll have I5 again, and we'll have I7 again. Now we need to have this I3. So we need to give this multiplexer a 1 to get an I3 over here. And now you have, uh, if one is over there, so one is over here also, and you get uh, an I7 over here. And now out of these two, I need the first, so I give a zero over here. So now if you check, uh, for, a, for, for I3, S2 is zero. So we, we first discovered the S1, S, S1, S0 is one, okay? And S2 is zero, so which means this particular is the S2 and the remaining this is S1. Now this is we have discovered from our inspection method. All right, so the green pen is gone. Now I only have one pen left, which means you tell me which one of uh, them should I select? <coughs> hmm? You're not telling me, so I, I, I do it by my own choice again. So let's say I have, uh, I have I5. I5 is fine, uh, I5 or I6, so let's say I5, okay? Or then you will say that you're selecting all of them from odd, so let's say I have an I6. <laughs> One is an even, okay? So I6. Now for I6, I need to have a zero at this particular uh, select line. This will give me an I6 over here, and for that I'll have to give a zero over here also, which means I'll have an I4 here. Now, if here we have a 0, so we'll have an I2 here. And if here we have a 0, so we'll have an I0 here. Now, we need I6, which means I need an I1 over here. Uh, the, the select line has 1 over here, so... No, sorry, I need I6. Yes, so we need the select line as 1. So now this will have an I6 over here. If this is a 1, so this has to be a 1, which will result in an I2 over here. Now again, I need what? I need uh, I6, so which means I need to have another one. And in this case, I will have what? I6 over here, finally. I, I missed the last one to write. The green color example was for I3, okay? So I3 over here. All right, so finally I have I6, which means for I6, uh, for I6, S2 is one. S2 is one, yes. S1 is one, it's one, yes. And S0, uh, S0 is 0. S0 is 0. The black pen represents I6. All right, so is that clear? Now, in this video, we have derived the 8 cross 1 marks using how many? Using a 7, 2 cross 1 marks. Is. All right, so that's all about this video. In the next video, we see a little tricky question. All right, so see you there, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.